kind of a crazy figurine. I've never seen this one before. Well, today is Thursday and I just had a meeting with the gentleman who is going to be building the cabinets for our kitchen and it went really well. I'm very excited for the cabinets, but right around the corner is Dover Antique Mall. So we are here now and we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and look for a profit. Dover Antique Mall has a lot of primitives, which is part of the reason I don't come here very often because you guys know that's not really my jam, um, but they do have some glass as well. So I figured I'd give you guys a peek at the primitives and uh, we just keep moving. Wait, what is that? Gotta get a closer look at that. That's really pretty. Urn vase. Is it contemporary? I'm getting mixed, mixed vibes. I think that may be more contemporary. Gosh, there he is again. I swear he's stalking me. <laughs> This is the third time I've seen this cat. The first time I bought it and then I was really confused the second time because I was like, didn't I just see one of these? And now I know that this cat is just playing games with me. <laughs> it looks like they are ready for a Halloween, just like me. <laughs> Lots of little gnomes. Oh, I love these ornaments. Those are fun. They're like old time looking ornaments. It's only $3.75. I feel like this year we should probably set up a Halloween tree because I see Halloween trees all across Instagram and they are so cool. Really pretty bottle and it actually has its stopper. A little confused though. It looks like somebody whited out the price. Huh. It's weird, right? It just says two piece. Piece. I'm confused. So I'm just going to keep moving. This is really pretty. It's a redware clay. What does it say? Redware vase. Six dollars. Kind of like the design on that. That's kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. I thought at first it was pink depression glass with a leaf design on it. It's just a single though. It's an oyster plate. Looks like this one is $200. Rare antique fish scene oyster plate. That is neat. I don't think I've seen that design before, but I don't do very much with oyster plates because they're usually a little too high for me to buy and flip for a profit. I really like this hat, <laughs> of all things. 50% alpaca, 50% acrylic, frosty mosaic cap, Peruvian link. How much is it? $40. It's really cute. It looks like they have, um, oh my gosh, is that not adorable? <laughs> Laurel has a big head, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's that big. Although I do love that. They have some really cute hats here. I may have to buy one for myself. Hmm. Which one do I like the most? So that's the question. I'm kind of really digging the blue one but I don't know if that's my color. Looks like there's a few more here inside the booth. Not only that, but look at these fuzzy critters. Oh my gosh, they're so soft because they're made of alpaca. Oh my goodness, $44. Oh, it's a unicorn. <laughs> I thought it was a horse. Oh my gosh, it's so fluffy. What are these creatures? Are they creatures? What are they? Bird nesting ball. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I've never seen anything like that before. That's really neat. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this on. You know, in the back of my head, I'm like, Jocelyn, you're gonna get lice. But at the same time, I feel like I need to try it on. Okay, I really love this hat. <laughs> it's really cute. And uh, that rusty color kind of goes with my hair at the moment because I have pink in my hair, so I think I'm going to buy it. I feel like I should buy this really cute one for for Laurel as well. Um, cause that's so sweet. <laughs> it's going to be a while until it fits her head, though. Then I was thinking for, for Ashton and Juliet, um, but I don't know if... That kind of strikes me as like a woman's style hat picked out hats for everyone with the exception of Andrew because um, I don't know if he'd wear it and I didn't want to spend $40 to find out that he wouldn't wear it. 
are some smalls on this shelf. And actually, I noticed this crazy looking cat. I've seen him a few times over the years. Uh, $9 on him. I don't think I'm going to pick him up today, though. This is... My mom used to have so many of these little molds. It's kind of a crazy figurine. I've never seen this one before. <laughs> this elephant has a horse in its trunk. I'm not sure what's happening, if they're like playing a game or if he's crushing the horse to death. So I've really got mixed feelings about it. Here are some cute little spaghetti poodles. Looks like the black one is 15. I kind of like the blue one. I don't see very many blue ones, even in the land of poodles. This one is $15 for the blue. Sneak him out of there. Look at his beret. Blue poodle, green beret. He is adorable. I can't remember what my other poodles had sold for, so that's why I'm a little bit hesitant at 15. Frog is really interesting. Look at his face. $9.50 on the frog. I recall finding some pretty nice glass in here on my last visit, so I figured we'd do a quick search of this booth. I kind of like this down here. That looks like it might be Viking. Imperina Center Bowl, $24. This booth does have 15% off, it looks like. Four, so that would be what? $2.40 is 10%. It's like $3-ish. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of money to be made there, but not much. Here is an art glass apple. It has some uh, controlled bubbles and it's signed on the bottom. Oh my gosh. It's not very legible though. I can't quite make it out. <laughs> Looks like it's dated 1988. That was the year I was born. That cat is adorable. This is $25. It looks like it's painted on wood. <laughs> and these dolls too. Mom and daughter doll. Only $15 for those. I think they're primitive style. They're not really actually primitive. Uh, what does it say on here? It just says, contains all new materials. They are adorable though. There's some nice glass over here. I like the looks of that bird. I wanna get him out and take a closer look. All right. I thought maybe it was wood, but now that I'm holding it, I'm thinking it's probably resin. It's marked in the bottom. Feathers Friends. It is a pretty bird. That looks like Joe St. Clair, I think Cloud. Let's see if it's marked on the bottom. Oh, it is marked. What is it marked? Sarasota glass flowers. Hmm. Not familiar with that. Gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> what is that? Besides artwork, it looks like an original $20 vintage flower girl painting. I like that. It reminds me of the artwork that they um, do on Italian pottery. That's probably why I love it. And it's got a bird on it. Um, so this is $20. I think I'm going to pick this up for $20. There's no markings or signatures on it. It does look like an original though. And I think it's really cute. So I think I'll pick that up. That Scotty planner. I guess that would be a Westie because it's white. The texture on that is great. Kind of a little bit confusing. I've never seen it like this before. It's 15 bucks. There's no markings or signatures on there. But the texture is fun. See what else you can find in this booth. That looks like Lennox. It is Lennox. And then down here, those look like Becky Mummert. Yes, they are. How much? $22 for the bowl. Um, is this a spoon rest? I don't think it's an ashtray. How much is that one? That one is $12.50. I think I'll pick up the Becky Mummert. I usually pick it up when I find it. I like the looks of those uh, plates down there. I was going to try to move this guy out of the way, but he is solid, like super solid. Um, so I'm going to have to lean over. It looks like they're Mikasa is what they are marked. I just like the pattern of them. Mikasa duplex. Oh, they're Ben Seibel. Siebel. Um, I know I never pronounced that right. So um, they're designed by Ben Seibel. That makes sense because they are very 
mid-century modern in style. I don't think I've seen those before. Uh, is it 30 each or 30 for all of them? Let's see. Yeah, so for five plates, it's 30 bucks. Hmm, I may have to think about that. This booth in the very front of the antique mall is one that I always tend to gravitate towards. And um, I'm looking around. I noticed this gumball tree. I thought that is so cool. Is it vintage? It's a La Max Vin Village Collection. And it has gumballs on it. That's just great. I've never, I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Or if I had, they were actual gumdrops. And um, this one is only 12 bucks. Well, I unloaded my basket and we are going to head upstairs. I have always loved this gallery wall that they have here. Look, there's another little girl with a bird. So I find that the second floor has a lot more um, things that are my jam. So, for instance, I just spotted this. Look at that. That black light display is amazing. Look at the jack in the pulpit. This is like a, a Stevens and Williams style. Wow. Does is it a crack? No, it's not. Wow, that's just gorgeous. Didn't look at the price yet though. Sixty-eight dollars. I'm very surprised that all of the petals are there. Hmm. They're a little bit of a rough spot there. It looks to be in good condition, and look at how bright it is. <laughs> I spotted that from across the room. Um, yeah, I mean, if all of the petals are intact. Oh, there is a, look, <laughs> there is a crack. Darn it all. Oh, it's just my luck. I think I'm going to leave it. So in addition to having um, antiques and collectibles, they also have a lot of these crafty booths, which I like poking through because you never know when you're going to find the perfect hat. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is really cute kitty fabric. What is this? Oh, it's a cat mat. Oh, that's cute. What are the, oh, these are catnips. Of course. I don't have a cat, so I really have no use for that. Those look strangely familiar. Let's look at those, shall we? I was about to walk out of the booth and then I paused. <laughs> oh, so it's the entire set for $75. Um, they are. They are. Oh my gosh. So if you remember, it was a long time ago, I stopped at Hart Thrift Store in Hanover and I bought two, I think they were both unicorns, about two unicorns. And um, I think they sold for like over a hundred dollars each. So this one is Candle Magic Gift Shop York. They're made of resin, um, and I usually have to check them over and make sure there's no damage. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take those with me. The whole set for only seventy-five. This is actually really neat as well. I'm usually um, on the fence about uh, these glass glued pieces. But I love the angel. I think that's really uh, it's really neat. There are some more figurines. I wonder who makes those ones. Swamp Demon. <laughs> oh, they're so much fun. Enchantica, the Well of Hope. By Andrew Bill. I've never heard of this before. I like the looks of that vase over there, so I figured I needed to get a closer look. Mosaic vase. Oh, that was a really interesting texture to it. I guess it is kind of like pieced together. It is, in fact, mosaic. Here is a nice set. Oh, they are signed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to decipher that one. It's really little and scribbly. Um, this says, Stoneware tea set, $14.95. Gosh, I feel like I could get at least... 40 bucks for this alone. Oh, there is a marking there. It's marked TG. I buy a lot of mugs, like artisan made mugs, directly from the person who makes them. And um, I think I paid that to like $68 for my coffee mugs uh, from my paper crane, Heidi Kenny. Uh, so <laughs> I look at these pieces and I'm like, you know, when they originally sold those, they probably sold them for quite a bit of money. Because um, there's a lot that goes into making these. So I think I'm going to grab these for $14.95. There's a kitty cat over here that looks like it has some age to it. Uh, I've seen these before. 
Madagascar cat twist turn toy. That's what it is. Yeah, $55 on him. I've never seen the cat before though. I see a lot of zoo animals and like um, elephants and stuff. I don't think I've ever seen the cat before. He's really cool, but at 55, I just don't know the value. Here in this booth, um, I happened to look up and I noticed this beautiful specimen, $7.50, yellow overlay. Okay, so does that mean, yeah, no, it, I'm like, was it painted yellow? No, it is a yellow overlay, $7.50. Um, I think this would be considered tango glass because of the contrast. I mean, granted the handle is more of like a root beer color but um, it's only seven, only seven bucks and 50 cents. That's great, I think we'll take that as well. Um, I am getting a little nervous about my basket, so I think I'm actually going to carry this picture and my basket and film all at the same time. Here is pretty vintage blue glass mini decanter. Um, oh, it's got, it's got rubber. Usually uh, whenever something has like a rubber stopper thing, it usually indicates that it's more contemporary. Um, so I don't think that I'll be picking that up, but uh, this booth definitely drew me in. To get a closer look at this, let's see what the bottom says. Galvin. Hmm. It is pretty. There is a nice dragonware set over here. $50, cups and saucers. I, I was focused on this guy. That is great. Is it marked on the bottom? Is it just marked? Made in Japan, right? Um, I think it says painted by hand. I don't know. It's kind of blurry. But um, the Moriage on that is very fantastic. Let me check and see what they're asking. Uh, $80 on the vase. And then cups and saucers, $50. There's no litho paint in the bottom. I mean, those are really thin. So it's making me think that they're a lot older. And some of the dragonware I come across. The set of plates here are also $30. Uh, made in Japan. They're marked. Gosh, it's been a hot minute since I sold any dragonware, but those ones are really nice. They're not they're not souvenirs either. I think the last few times I've come across dragonware, there are souvenir pieces and they actually say like, I got it from, you know, Denmark, which is weird because it's a dragon and it's made in Japan. Um <laughs> This is made in Kenya, that's soapstone. I don't know, I think I'm gonna consider these for a moment. I might look up comps on Dragonware because I haven't sold it in quite a while. Gosh, I just turned around, I was pulling my phone out, and I noticed this. Hi, my name is Bryn, I'm nine years old, I love animals, I wanna be a vet. I'm selling jewelry to help pay for my schooling, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so we gotta buy some jewelry, obviously. Um, let's see what we've got here. Um, I can't wear it, unfortunately, because it is uh, costume jewelry, but I feel like Juliet would have fun playing dress up with some of these, so uh, we'll grab them. Those are fun. I kind of like this white one. That one looks like it's vintage, right? Two, only $2. Okay. All right. Let's see anything else? <laughs> I swear my mom had a necklace like this in the 80s. All right. Maybe we'll grab a few more. I'll grab this one. And oh, those are neat. Look at that earring in there. Those are kind of vintage as well. Okay, so those that's five dollars. All right, I think we got ourselves some jewelry today. I did look up Dragonware. Um, you can see that uh, this one, a set of four, sold for eighty-five dollars. But these ones have a geisha litho paint in the bottom, which means when you hold it up to the light or when you put hot water on it. A lady appears in the bottom of the cup. So these ones are a certain brand, S-A-G-J-I, and I'm not sure what that is. Here we have another litho paint. That's one of the reasons I usually look for litho paints in the bottom of the cups because they have a tendency to sell better. Here's a set of four sold for 40. So you consider that it's $50 for this set. That works out to $10 a piece. I'm gonna make sure that there's no chips or cracks on them. I think I'm gonna buy those. And I can't buy those without buying these little plates. You know, you can put your cookies on there, have some tea with it, or your biscuits, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the vase, the vase, I'm just on the fence about it, 80. But then I'm like, you know what, I'm buying everything else. Maybe I should buy the vase to go with it. I wish I could figure out the marking. 
made in, yeah, I can't. I think I'm gonna buy it all. Okay, so I was able to get everything down um, except for the cups and saucers. So I'm heading back up to the second floor and I'm gonna load up the cups and saucers. Here is kind of fun. It's three blackbirds on a clay bowl. The birds look to be in decent condition and it is signed on the bottom. It looks like Schmidt something, Marshall maybe. But it's only $6, so I'm gonna stick that in my basket. The other thing I noticed was this. It's copper on enamel. I do kind of like it. It's only $3.50. Ugh, okay. I hate to be selective, but I just, I have to be a little bit selective. Are two little chicks here. How much are those? $4.50. Let's check them over and see the condition. I can't remember. Elfinware, I think, is what this is called. Um, that green texture. You know, the flowers look to be in pretty decent condition. This one is missing one of its petals, but it's almost to be expected um, because <laughs> they're so fragile. That one's missing a petal too. They're only $4.50 and they're very adorable. So I'll stick those in my basket. It's interesting. I thought at first it was glass, but it's a pink luster from Germany. Under a speaker, I'm gonna talk loud and I'm gonna talk fast, but I thought that these were really neat because they're actually made out of pine cones and then they're painted to look like flowers. And I've never seen that before. I've seen the wooden flowers before, but these are pine cones. They're really pretty. It's, uh, six, and it's only $16, you know, somebody put quite a bit of effort into making those and they're only charging 16 bucks. You might remember that I am a sucker for soaps and I noticed there were some soaps here. This peppermint oatmeal has a nice texture to it and the smell is good too. It's $8 and I'll grab that one. And then I was looking for another scent. That dragon's blood is interesting for sure, but um, maybe let me smell this one. Ooh, that one smells really good. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one with me. There is a rose medallion saucer, or China, $5. Eh, there is a little bit. I'm like, I always find them with chips and this one's got a little bit of chip in there. So I think I'm gonna keep moving, but I think we're done. I think we've actually seen everything there is to see. So I'm gonna head downstairs and make my way towards the exit. All right, well, our total spend there today was $500, well, $505. Um, it's been a while since I had visited, so it was nice to browse and see what I could find. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head home. Um, Andrew's gotta get over to the shop and pack some packages, so we're gonna switch off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.